This is a single room in Home Inn on Guangzhou Road in Shanghai. Um, as you enter, you have the ensuite bathroom, uh, say the toilet, obviously. And then you have your shower with still the um, shampoo and body wash on the wall. Um, still using a curtain. I've seen another single room that has um, actual doors instead of the curtain, but the toilet and the um, shower is separated. Uh, here we have the better facilities, I think, I believe, compared to the other shared one. So you've got laminated, um, laminated table, tabletop, you've got a television. Um, the wired internet is kind of hard to reach here, if I can get this out. Or not. Uh, you might have to rely on the Wi-Fi, which is pretty bad in this hotel. Very, very bad. Like, the internet will just drop every few minutes. Like, maybe you'd be connected for two minutes, maybe three minutes tops. And then it'll just stop working for a while. Anyway, we've got storage space underneath. And this is something that the other room didn't have. Um, uh, I assume it's kind of like a set-top box for the digital television. Um, but, like, when you turn on the television, um, it has, like, a channel where you can choose, um, pre-stored movies in English, I think. I haven't tried it because the other room didn't have this facility. Um, hopefully they're not dubbed for you, you, um, English-speaking people. Got a lamp. Now, this room does not have a balcony. But it does have a kettle, as usual, and the two water bottle. Um, this is your remote. Oops. For you people who are planning to come here, um, let me just show you how the remote works. Because I had a gentleman ask me how to use it earlier because he didn't speak any Chinese and I spoke English. So, um, you've got your pink-ish button. Can't really tell, but you know, this one in the middle is pinkish. This one is on or off. And the temperature is 26 degrees Celsius right now. And at the moment, the arrow on the left is pointing to cold. So it's going to blow cold air at whatever temperature you want it. That's what I assume because you did another one that says hot. Um, and then on this side, you have the speed of the air. So you've got high, medium, and low. And then this top one on the left is automatic. So you can leave it on automatic. Um, change that by pressing this button on the left or mode. If you press it again and again, eventually go to automatic. And then, if I wanted really fast, oh yeah, you can't change the speed when it's on automatic. But you can change the temperature by going down. If you wanted to change the speed, I'm going to change that to cold. Then on this side, I'm going to... Don't know if you just heard that, but that was the motor of the aircon starting. The fast one is actually quite loud. So I tend to change it to um, low, because I'm a light sleeper and I can't fall asleep at night. Um, and that's pretty much all the buttons you need to know, except maybe if you want, this one is like a timer for how long you want the aircon to be on until it stops. So you have to keep, like, press and hold it. So that's in hours, so that's four and a half hours. So that means in four and a half hours, the aircon will stop. Um, I don't need the timer on, so I'm just going to set it back to zero. Oops. There you go. And with your telephone, if you lift the handset and then press 9, that will take you directly to reception. Uh, but if they don't speak any English, I'm afraid this function isn't going to help you much.
So, yep. That's pretty much it. I'm actually quite glad I have a double bed all to myself. That's a nice thing to have. Oh, and the one thing that this room doesn't have is a bedside um, lamp. The other one had um, a lamp hanging from the top down, and then it was right next to your bedside. But I guess you can always move that table lamp to your bedside table. Uh, enjoy your stay, guys, if you plan to come here. The, as I said, if you're going to be um, dependent on Wi-Fi, uh, good luck. Because the gentleman I saw, I think he was here on business because he was going to do something in Shanghai. And, um, yeah, just a word of warning, the Wi-Fi here is really bad. And people smoke in the corridors, just so you know.